Do you like candy? Do you love to eat a lot of it after your parents go to bed and no one's watching? You stuff your face and stuff your face and stuff your face until you can't eat anymore. But what if I told you that your favorite candy that you eat all the time? You know, your favorite M&Ms? What if I told you that those M&Ms were actually made with toxic paint or made with metal or their secret ingredient was stinky shoes sounds crazy right and then, mm -mm. because today we're gonna be looking at different candies that you will never eat again once you know what they're actually made with yeah we're gonna be exposing these candy companies and showing you what they actually put in their candies and not just what they tell you they're putting in them so grab your tissues because you might be a little upset after I ruin your favorite food. Smash the like right now to make sure that your favorite candy isn't made with sketchy stuff. Also, hit that subscribe button so you can join the family. Three, two, one, let's go. Number 10, vanilla and raspberry flavoring. Now, I love vanilla. Many of us love ice cream, especially the many different flavors, but there's a pretty good chance you will never have ice cream again, specifically vanilla, strawberry, and raspberry flavors. Only my three favorite flavors but it's no big deal right <sighs> once you know how they are made oh God. and it's not just limited to ice cream any foods with those flavors because these flavoring contains something called castorium before going on you should know what exactly oh, that looks castorium disgusting. is and why it is a problem to put it bluntly castorium is the secretion of brown slime that comes from the castor glands of a beaver's anus huh Somebody tell me that I didn't just hear that correctly. Did they just say the glands of a beaver's peach? Tell me this ain't true, Doc. Tell me it ain't true. With a little bit of beaver urine, it becomes one of the core <laughs> ingredients in achieving the flavor that tastes of vanilla, raspberry, and strawberry. You're kidding. The is the use of castorium has actually been deemed the same by the Food and Drug Administration, calling this substance non-toxic to taste and non-toxic to skin. Non -toxic Toxic to skin? Sure. But you're trying to tell me it's non-toxic to taste? I don't think so. You're trying to tell me that eating a beaver's peach is not toxic to my mouth? Well, all right then. The icing on top of the cake, though, is that castorium has been used for the last 80 years oh. and has been listed under quote-unquote natural ingredients in the list of ingredients for flavor. Guys, this is why you always gotta read the label. And even when you do read the label, they're still trying to catfish you. 80 years of just sweeping under the radar. We've been eating beavers. Peaches! And it's categorized under natural flavor? Ugh! I'm disgusted! Number nine, McDonald's apple pie. <gasps> McDonald's no, not the apple pie! Delicious. Who can forget the great taste in Big Macs and McFlurries oh, at McDonald's? Also, let's not forget their apple pies, which is the food of American pastimes. Sweet and tasty, especially when it's hot. But we have never stopped to wonder exactly how these apple pies are made oh, and what no. exactly goes into uh, them apart from apples and sweet oh, sauce. Oh, it's going to well, be bad. the answer is L-cysteine. L-cysteine is basically an amino acid that, although oh. not necessary for adults, it is very important for the consumption by infants. Okay, so if it's important for kids, then maybe it's not so bad that it's in the apple pie. Maybe we can keep eating these delicious treats, guys. Also, a key ingredient used in making apple pies. Mm. What's wrong with it, you may ask? Well, it is the way that it's made. L-cysteine is made through the process of hydrolysis, which core ingredients include feathers of ducks and hog hair. And huh? in some cases, it is also rumored that it consists of human hair. The ingredients are bonded together with water to achieve a liquid that is used in the apple pie to give it a great taste. What uh. makes it worse is that the use of L-cysteine has been banned in the oh. European Union, but not the United States, where it is still used in large quantities. So you're trying to tell me that they put hair and duck feathers in my apple pie? Excuse me while I go throw up. Maybe I'll be sticking with the McFlurries from now on. Or wait, McDonald's McFlurries made with vanilla ice cream. Oh my God. My whole world is shattering down. Eight, 
beer. It's time to crack open a cold eh. one with the boys on this spot. Beer is the third most consumed beverage in the world after tea and water, and none of us have even wondered what beer contains. Apart from alcohol, there is another secret ingredient that is used to make the beer finer. That ingredient is called Isinglass. Huh? What's Isinglass, you may ask? Yeah. Well, in short, Isinglass is essentially the extracts of dried fish bladders. No, 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 it doesn't seem weird at all. Common practice to use this ingredient for beers, especially to make beer and even some wines more oh. clear to look at. Guinness has gone on to state that they have been using the ingredient in their beers for over 250 oh. years. And nobody knew at all. Catfish number two. Man, they should really be warning people about this. Thank God I don't drink beer. And have just now began to reduce their use of Isinglass in their beers. Uh. Still might make some people think twice about picking up a beer next time round. Ugh. Number seven, red food dye. Red velvet cupcake, Starbucks Ugh. strawberry frappuccino, and red strawberry candy. What? what do all of these have in common? Well, not only are they delicious, but they use red food dye, which is made out of bugs. <gasps> Specifically, the cochineal scale, which contains no, the acid in its stomach no, that no, is used no. to get the bright color of red food dye. Ugh. These bugs are crushed, and when the crushed powder is mixed with water, it creates a strong red dye that we consume on a regular basis. You'll be surprised by the number of things that include cochineal scale in its ingredients. Oh. Things like yogurt, juices, oh. and even pink pastries what? all include these crushed Not the macaroons! Guys, just think of how many things that you eat per day that are red. Red juices, red candies, red chocolates, red cupcakes. The whole world is freaking red, okay? So pretty much I'm saying that we eat bugs every single day. Oh. Guys, don't they say you are what you eat? So if we eat bugs every single day, then does that mean we're bugs? Oh my god, what if we wake up one day and we're just not human anymore? We're just bugs. The world is bugs. The, wor the world is just one giant bug. What would that be like? It's the main ingredient that provides the color and taste to these items. In 2012, it was revealed that Starbucks <gasps> was using the crushed cochineal bugs in its strawberry frappuccino, Whoa. which caused an absolute outrage. It is still used today. You go to Starbucks and order a frappuccino with oat milk and no whip, thinking that you're being healthy and vegan. Vegan is the but no, Starbucks is secretly slipping you some bugs in there. Wow, thanks, Starbucks. You shouldn't have. No, really, you shouldn't have. Safe by the Food and Drug Administration. You can find Ugh. it in the ingredients section under these names: carmine, cochineal extract, and natural red four. Ugh. Number six, chewing gum. Throughout history, mankind has been chewing on all manners Not of different chewing plants gum. And roots, like chewing gum's flavor is literally mint. So why put anything other than mint in there? You know? Why you gotta complicate it at bugs and boogers and peaches? Man, we can't catch a break. The ancient Greeks used to chew gum made from the barks of the mastic tree. South Americans used to chew on the leaves of the coca plant, which is used to make cocaine. <gasps> it was in the 1860s that a pharmacist called John Colgan created the first flavored chewing gum called Taffy Tulu. Today, there are several popular brands of chewing gum, such as Trident, Eclipse, and Orbit all competing with one another for the privilege of finding their way into our mouth. The base of the gum used to be made of a natural substance called chicle, which is a sap-like substance produced in the bark of a sabadilla tree. Chicle was prominent for its use in the production of chewing gum in the past. However, these days, only a few small brands still use it in their gum bags. But still, the majority of brands have switched to adding synthetic rubber in the base of chewing gum instead. Apparently, the synthetic rubber is much easier and cheaper to manufacture, although that doesn't discard the fact that you're literally eating rubber. Okay, guys, I don't know about you, but I don't think that one's that bad. I mean, you're chewing on the sap of a plant or a tree or something. At least it's natural. When it comes to energy drinks, there is no drink as well known or consumed as Red Bull. Mm -hmm. The drink has sold over 5 billion cans since 2012 and is widely available in 171 countries wow. around the world. With the name Red Bull, a lot of people actually thought that this energy drink included bull semen and bull urine Ugh. as a core ingredient. Well, that has proved to be a hoax. However, 
thank those God. ingredients are probably even more healthier than what is actually in Red Bull. While Red Bull has a sugar intake oh. that is less than most soda drinks, it contains up to 80 milligrams of caffeine, which is like drinking two cups of coffee. Oh. While that makes it why the drink gives us such a tremendous boost of energy, it also makes the drink incredibly addictive. Another harmful element present in the drink is its main sweetener, aspartame, oh. which can produce That's cancer bad. such as leukemia, which is blood cancer and lymphoma. The Whoa. drink also contains synthetic taurine, an ingredient that is reported to include high blood pressure, oh. strokes. Guys, this is so sketchy. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Energy drinks are not good for you guys. If you're tired, take a nap. And if you're still tired and you can't nap, drink a glass of water, pop a lemon slice in there and call it a day. You don't need these sketchy energy drinks in you to live your life. Buzzle down a Red Bull every once in a while. Try not to become too independent on it for your energy. Yeah, drink. it ain't good. Try some organic coffee or green tea instead. Mm. And number three, we have McDonald's chicken nuggets. <gasps> what do you oh, do? Oh gosh, when you not the nuggets, anything but the nuggets. The nuggets and the McFlurry are like the only things I like at McDonald's. Hmm, guys, I don't want to look like rummaging around in the kitchen to cook something up. For most people, calling your favorite fast food chain and ordering in is one of the best ideas. Whether it may be Wendy's, KFC, Domino's, or any other of the multiple brands available, you can certainly look forward to a hot and delicious meal made from only the freshest of ingredients under the highest standards of safety and cleanliness. Well, say hello to mechanically separated chicken. Oh. The process of creating this chicken paste is by forcing the meat through a sieve under high pressures, which turns it into this puree. Ugh. This includes all parts of the chicken, such as bones, eyes, beaks. Did they just say eyes? Beaks? Bones? Oh my god. I knew I wasn't gonna want to watch this one. Oh. Fast food outlets have been rumored to use this process of producing their chicken patties <gasps> and nuggets. However, none more than McDonald's and their chicken nuggets. Guys, they can't be serious about those chicken nuggets. My stomach is turning <laughs> after hearing that. I literally want to throw up. Like, why they gotta ruin chicken nuggets, bro? Why the nuggets? Why? Why couldn't it be that stupid gross fish sandwich they carry or, or the salad? Well, just kidding. I actually really like their salad, but you get what I mean. All right, guys, I'm too upset to continue this video. That's all the food that I have for you today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button as hard as you freaking can. And also subscribe to this channel so you can be a part of the family. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll